Good afternoon guys. Christmas Eve, 24th of December. You know, it's about 52 degrees Fahrenheit just before midday. I'm going to do some shopping in Marks and Spencer. What would we do without the Salvation Army on Christmas Eve? Let's go into Marks and Spencer. I've just got a couple of items to get. Bless you. Gentleman there said thank you. Gentleman bless him. He could hardly walk. You have to be polite at all times, even though I'm an old man now. You probably saw me in the mirror. Oh no. I'm not sure. We're, we're not still filming, but I haven't done this for maybe six months. I'm sorry I have a mask on. Inside, a lot of people. Although, this is Marks and Spencer's centre of Birmingham City. It's quite out, reasonably quite outside the market finish today. But the fair part in front of the Symphony Hall, it stays until, it's either the 7th or the 8th of January, guys. I thought I'd do a little bit of shopping in m and only need a couple of items, but I can show you around. But this is actually moving, guys. This is the food department. I have to move around really slowly. Yes, it's a DDI Pocket 2. It's actually in the chest strap. So I cannot see anything. And it is a half inch screen. It's on my chest. I've got both hands free. So we can pick up items. And I can try to show you. I'm not sure how it's filming until I get home. But you know, they put cameras on dogs, don't they? And uh, it comes out better probably than what I can film so why worry here we are I wanted to get a little maybe turkey 30 pounds what is that or oh, the ultimate pork joint hmm yes so I hope you enjoy this little trip around Marks and Spencer's Birmingham Christmas Eve almost midday it is moving into Grand Central early next year Christmas time so I'm thinking do I spoil myself let's put my glasses on they, they will probably steam up but I want to try to see what you guys can see and I won't know as I said until we get home honey mustard ham hmm <laughs> so the great advantage of this is yes I've got both hands free oh that was a little bit sticky slow cooked British beef uh, turkey and ham Christmas pudding pie hmm 20 22 pounds I mean obviously things have gone up a lot yes getting back it's moving into Grand Central next year early next year Marks and Spencer's vegetable selection classic 22 pounds hmm oh Brussels sprouts do we dare get Brussels sprouts I haven't bought Brussels sprouts for years they, they are nice do I get some what do you think guys should I get some I think I will I was going to get carrots but I'm I'm on my own, so I don't want to be too extravagant. Let's have a look here. Oh, gammon steaks, slow cooked beef. The slow cooked beef here, look. 35, it says serve to 14.50. You know when they only have the turkey over here, I think. I don't want a whole turkey. It's a turkey breast. Let's have a look. 
Oh my goodness. Things have gone up though. £26 for a turkey joint. Look at that, guys. £26. I'm not paying that, I'm sorry, but uh, that's just ridiculous. Oh, they have one here, look. What's it? It's been reduced. Let's have a look at. I'm not sure. Oh, it's from 29 to 20 pounds. Turkey joint. No, it's too much money. Oh, I know it's Christmas. They normally do a little. I'm living in the past. A little small uh, breast of turkey, or maybe around here for maybe 10, 12 pounds. Let's have a look. Oh, here. Here we have. No, what's the price on here? Oh, this is another one. No, I think they're 30, 39 pounds. Don't want that. What do we have here? Oh, pork and time, pork sausage meat. I'm not, as I say, I'm not cooking a whole turkey on my own. Oh, there's a cure here, but it's not, it's not unbearable. And as I say, forgive me for my muffled voice, but I don't want to take my mask off inside. There are a lot of people in certain areas. I'm getting a little, um, a few glances from people. Let's have a look. The main thing is my Christmas dessert, to be honest with you. I wanted, oh, you know, this is a good tiramisu. Under normal circumstances, I'm no, no price on anything. I think it's about 3 99 But I'm looking for Christmas desserts. So let's have a look here. Oh, look at those. Aren't they wonderful? Rodney reindeers. Oh, this looks wonderful. Chocolate and hazelnut. Oh, it's gatto. Look. Fifteen pounds. That's reasonably priced. It put them back properly. I'm just having a look. Oh, here we have the uh, preferred rolls, of course. What are these? These are chocolate pine cones. I think they are fifteen pounds. Yes. Let's have a look along here. Oh, the profiteroles. Oh, four for three. Well, I'm not going to buy four. It's ridiculous. Who? Oh, oh, I see here. Posh profiteroles, guys. Doesn't. Uh, you know, it's really frustrating. I don't have prices on things. The collection profiteroles. Oh, they, they, they are £12. Quite a lot in there. Look. I'm trying to look down at my chest to see the half-inch screen. Oh, here we are. Five, five, five. Look, do I get those? Tell me. Tell me, guys. We're not live, so... <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I had this last year. This one here. Look, the handy fit of uh, the loose slice. That's £12. No. You know, I have to tell you, when you think about Harris and uh, Fortnum and Mason, the dessert selection in here now has gone down over the years tremendously. I know they do vary. They, they call this shop a small Marks and Spencers. I mean, it's not. Here. Oh, look at that. Verve Clicquot. But I've got my half bottle of champagne for Christmas Day. It's uh, this one here. You see? Delacorte. Uh, 16 pounds. Yeah, so it's a, it's a really nice, soft, fruity. I think it's 14.99 champagne. And I got a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't normally drink, to be honest with you. And that, that is the honest truth. I, I very rarely drink, but uh, I thought I'd treat myself to a half bottle of champagne on Christmas Day. And we have the, oh, I don't know what to have, we have the Brussels sprouts now, don't we? 
So we've got Brussels sprouts, we've got roast potatoes arranged at home. I did get some frozen ones, but they are very good. I just need maybe a turkey joint. Well, I do need to get some sugar. Um, let's have a look over here. It's quite busy, but it's not horrendous. Uh, oh, Cadbury's drinking chocolate. That's only to put on my over here. If we can get here, it's just two pounds usually. Or you can get. Do they have Cadbury's here? I don't see the Cadbury's. Drinking chocolate, two pounds. M&S is the same. It's just, excuse me for bending down mm -hmm. over. It's the drinking chocolate here. It's just a spray on my cappuccino. If I have a hot chocolate, I normally buy the hotel chocolate. Um, 10 sachets is 13.50 now, it keeps going up. But if you call in on a regular basis, and I live close to Birmingham City, you can get it. They normally have 50% off when it's short code, so I can get 10 sachets, 6.75. So that's what I normally do, and it's really wonderful. I, as I said, I like the Cadbury drinking chocolate to put on the top of my cappuccino, but I don't like it as a drinking chocolate. I think it's awful. So we've got that. We need to get, no, I, I say carrots, no, dessert, dessert and a turkey, really. Oh, I've got, I've been to Boots, the chemist. I won't show you that. And we need, i just show you over here, guys, for normal, if you come over here. And as I said, remember, it's in a chest strap. Oh, they haven't got any. Oh, yes, in a chest strap. This gelato here, so I cannot see what I'm doing. See this here? Italian gelato. I know I did a video of certain products once. See that one there? Wonderful. Best gelato I've ever had. Five pounds. I mean, I could get that, but I wanted a, like a Christmas dessert, to be honest with you. But you're not helping me. <laughs> I'm only joking. We probably wouldn't be able to get away with live in here. I'd have to use on my gimbal and iPhone 13, and then everyone would be looking at me. And also, reception, it would break up all the time. But this will be posted within a couple of hours, and it's midday Christmas Eve, Birmingham City. A little bit of late Christmas shopping. Still trying to get to the Christmas desserts, but I want to get my little turkey breast. I can't find one though, as I said, they're not about 30 pounds. Sorry, you don't see what I see on camera, fortunately. Hmm, 29. I don't have any small ones, to be honest with you. I'm not paying 30 pounds. How things have changed in the last 12 months. Maybe I would settle for something else. But I, I wanted something different for Christmas Day. Well, let's have a look here again. So, do we have anything? Oh, a little gammon. No, it's something about gammon. Now, I should have gone off it. I don't know why. It's the smell that puts me off. This turkey in hand, the Christmas pie. I know we looked at it, but it does look interesting. Hand finished turkey in ham, Christmas pudding. Hi. Uh, uh, 22 pounds. I mean, it would last probably three or four meals, but it, I'm thinking of what is it like, to be honest with you. No, they don't have any. Uh, oh, turkey joint. 11 pounds, but they don't have any left. That would have been ideal for me. Some meals here. It's a little bit to shell everyone sort of running around trying to get the shopping last bit of shopping although coming into Birmingham today it's really quiet as I said remember the guys the market's finished now we are just looking at 
the fair part in front of the symphony hall. You can still go there until the 7th or 8th of January. We don't need anything there. And what have we got here? Hmm. Oh, look. Oh, no. On crude. The pot of stacks. Yeah, it's a bit crowded over by the Christmas um, dessert section, obviously. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. Uh, I've still got my eye on these. Let's have a look at the chocolate pine cones. What do you think, guys? Yes? No? Pine cones. So they work out, is it £2.50 each? What shall we? I wonder if they have anything in the... Um, Six chocolate mousse pine cones with a chocolate sauce centre, dark chocolate and finish with a sugar dust in. What do you think? These are something I've never had before. I know £15 worth a lot of money, but... And this chocolate, I say this, I'll just put that there for a second. Yes, that looks a bit too rich. I mean, that's good value, £15. Chocolate and hazelnut gateau. But yes, their, their selection, I am, if we had somewhere else to go, I mean, I could have, you no, know, Rodney Reindeer looks a bit disheveled there. Profiteroles do go down very well, but you can get those anytime, can't you? These are special. Oh, I'd get them, I think. I'll just take a chance, get those guys. Now we're just looking for maybe What's this? A steak pie. Stay. Lasagnon, but you, you can get lasagnon. Lasagnon, sorry. You can get those anytime. I'm not looking for produced products. Maybe I'll just have a bowl of Brussels sprouts for my Christmas dinner. <laughs> no, no. Let's have a look. Oh, look. Christmas sausage roll garland. That's nice, isn't it? Look nine pounds hmm no I thought, oh and they do this rustic potato camel eyes oh that looks really wonderful doesn't it look brie pie that's eight pounds that's a good price i well, what's this down here 15 pounds look whole baked pear pork and stilton pie what do you think guys trying to get that in front of the camera, although I can't see the lens, I don't know. No, I, so what are we, oh I know, Demerard, some special sugar with my coffee. I only do one coffee a day and three sugars now instead of the awful um, sweeteners, which are nasty. Not good for you and apparently I read they make you crave sugar anyway, so I just have three sugars in my one coffee a day in the morning. It's not going to do any harm, it's only 15 calories in one teaspoon of sugar but can we get demerara sugar in here it should be around here actually let's have a look special sugar oh yes here we are here we are this oh no that's bread mix oh here we are look at this is this for oh no this one here look this is wonderful for coffee home baking it's just for home baking but i think it's the one you can put in coffee as well. Add a sweet crunch. It says for cooks. Um, let's have another look. What about the sugar here? I know that's for baking soft. Have a look at this brown sugar here. Rich bakes. I think Demerara sugar is okay. I've had it before. It's it's the one there. So 15. 45 calories, one coffee day is not going to harm me. And it stops that crave of sugar because I don't know if you've ever had a cake, guys. You've ever had a cake that's got real sugar in, but we all know that coffee and cake is wonderful, isn't it? But you put your sweeteners in your coffee and it's awful. If you don't have a cake with it, you think it's sweet. So you can get away with that, but if you want to have something it's got real sugar in it and then you have the coffee with it because coffee and cake is wonderful a marriage made in heaven this one here guys this is the best curry tikka masala you will ever get off the shelf anywhere in the UK 
and I'm going to have that with rice. I don't have to have, whoops, I don't have to have uh, turkey and they, they just don't have anything that catches my eye to be honest with you. So we've got the dessert, sugar, got the curry, got the carrots, got some tuna at home, Christmas day, boxing day, got bread, I've got the chocolate for my cappuccino, um, that usually lasts a few months, it's only sprinkling over the cappuccino, and Brussels sprouts, well what am I going to have Brussels sprouts with a curry? <laughs> yes, Christmas dinner, Christmas lunch, call it what you like, I'm going to dip my bowl of Brussels sprouts in my chicken tikka masala. Oh, I don't think so. No, I'm not sure if I need that. No, I'll keep them because um, I wanted to try sprouts. Maybe after Christmas, I could have got a little chicken, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I'll just get down here. Someone coughing their heart up. Yes, we don't have to get a turkey on Christmas Day. I will really enjoy the curry, to be honest with you. Yes, we'll have the curry after Christmas. Maybe I'll get something. You just cannot find anything. What's this, salmon? Salmon would be nice. Oh, look at that corn cocktail there. Oh, my goodness. How much are these here? Let's have a look. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That's huge, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, it's already got the sauce, so I'm not sure how much it is, actually. How much is that one there? Let me get that. Excuse me, please. Thank you so much. Looks like 11 pounds. That's a bit worth it. That's really huge, that was. I had a prawn cocktail last night, but I didn't know I had a prawn, large prawns, and just a small pack, and then I, I didn't have any sauce with it so I had some mayonnaise and, and lots of pepper with some brown bread for supper and it was very nice but I have to say that's amazing price but I, it's far too much for me far too much 11 pounds yes let's have a look again no maybe after Christmas people are oh, give me <laughs> quite rightly so I'm I've got a mask on, I'm talking to myself, and they don't realise I've got my little secret camera in my chest strap. Hands free. Isn't that amazing? Look, guys, look. Hands free. <laughs> but it's, as I say, you can get a good, good quality picture. I've got it tilted slightly. Uh, the, only, the other thing is, well, you move around, you know, you move your body around. I haven't got a Christmas cake, but I've got those chocolate on that. That's enough I'm going, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little trip around Marks and Spencer's Christmas Eve, especially for my wonderful 406... Oh, I got another one last night. 407 subscribers. I don't think there's anything else to show you guys, really. I just wanted to give you a quick glance of what it's like in Marks and Spencer's if you were here and the view you would get. There's um, one over there, and there's one here. What do we see here? I think we've got this one. Yes. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this stealth filming. Might be a bit naff at the um, checkout there. Forgive me. Yes, yeah, so that's it. We're all set up now. We can go home. I can show you the Salvation Army outside when the Salvation Army start playing again, guys. And I say, I wish you the very, very, very best for Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas. I will film at 11 o'clock through the city centre, Broad Street, New Year's Eve, and we will see the new year in together, even if it's just one viewer who comes in. We will film Broad Street for you and the surrounding areas. I will start live at 11 o'clock, New Year's Eve. Again, thank you, 407 subscribers now. Got another one overnight. Things are looking up. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I love all of you. I wish you the very best. And we are going to go out listening to the Salvation Army. Take care. Goodbye.